Okay. Okay. Yeah, please. Thank you very much for for the invitation. And sorry for the people that maybe already hear the talk. No problem. I will try. I will try to give a little bit more detail. So the idea is to talk about. Uh, I will do that. Sorry, I have to again to check. Okay. About solution to HAL from here system with torn symmetry and the, the construction is a joint work with Geograncher and which bits on. So let's start with some preliminary. So let's recall the definition due to Mickelson balance metric. So uh, let's say a Hermitian metric. on a hand dimensional complex manifold M and we I will use omega for a meter matrix so I will identify the metric with the associate fundamental form and we'll say that this is balance if if we take the n n minus one wedge power of omega this is close. So that means essentially that it is omega is co-close. And in particular, we have in our complex manifold a positive D close and minus one and minus one four. Um I will not say anything more about balance met metric, but uh, let's go immediately uh, to the fact that the, the balance metric have an important role in the hull strumming system. And we, I will review a little bit before we, about the, the physical, interpretation, meaning, motivation about the hard from in the system. And then we will see the system and the, the, the construction. Uh, of course, by, by definition, the definition makes sense, let's say for n bigger than equal than three, because for n equal to two, the balance is essentially equal, coincide with killer. So that's why we will consider uh, the, the complex dimension free as uh, that's more related to Hall strumming system, let's say. And so let's start with the physical physics, let's say, physical motivation, motivation physics. About Hall strumming the system and the link with the, the balance match. Um, so the, the, the first thing that we can say, roughly speaking, is that it describes the system, describes the geometry of compatification of a theoretic Super strings with torsion. We have torsion. Um, let's say to four dimensional Minkowski space. That will be essentially our one free. Uh, so that compassification is essentially linking between 10 dimensional 
and four dimensional, essentially Minkowski space. So the idea is locally, what we will have, we will have a Lorentzian ten dimensional manifold, which is a product of R13 cross M6. M6 will be compact, say, compass manifold. And in fact, that this compact compass manifold will be a special type of a C3 structure that we will describe in a moment. So the, the, the geometric object that we have will have some, this 10 dimensional manifold, Laurentian, uh, which is locally a product. And then we will have also a gauge bundle. In fact, it's a homomorphic. A band of A, E, let's say, on M6. And so they, they with the gauge connection also. So the idea is to reduce the equation that, that you have from superstring theory. So you want to reduce, let's say, like that, all the equation required by superstring theory. To geometry. Half the compact, six manifold, and the Lomorph gauge bound. Okay. Um, when we consider our product, essentially we, we have two type of metric. So we can have a product metric. I warp it. Product metric. This is also related to, to what is called the flux. Let's say the free form H, which uh, determine the uh, SU free structure that up to a factor is just given by the bar minus d, essentially omega, where omega is uh, the fundamental form. And then this is also called the strength field. And another object will be dilaton. The dilaton essentially is a function involving um, a part which is uh, let's say the norm, the free zero form, because to have an SU free structure, it means that you have an Armitian metric, but also a uh, free zero form. And this is essentially the logarithm of the norm of uh, the free zero form with respect to the metric plus a constant, let's say, free zero constant. And uh, to be uh, essentially the, the problem metric, is related to the case when the free form H is zero. We know essentially that the flux is, uh, is vanishing. Um, and in this case, the, the, the solution, so when, when is the product, say the product case, and this is, was the first case study, that's uh, the flux three, Compatification, the case when the flux is zero, and that was studied by Candelas, Horowitz, Strominger, and Witten, 85. Um, in this case, what, what you have that uh, essentially the E our bundle is just a tangent bundle of M6 and M6 has to be Calabiao um, in the sense the canonical bundle is holomorphically trivial plus killer with, with killer Ricci flat. 
metric. And the existence of this is essentially due by Yao, the, 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 Yao, the Calabi Yao theorem. So how Yao solve uh, the Calabi conjecture. Um, let's say from non-killer geometry point of view, the more interesting case is the case when the flux is non zero. So compatification. With flux. So in this case, H will be zero. And that's exactly the, the case that uh, uh, gives, let's say, the hard strumming system um, was studied independently by strumming hull. And so that's give, I don't know, this one, I didn't change the color for this one. I will use black. So this one. Yes, given the hard strumming system. And in this case, what are the property that preserve and six is still Calabiao in the in the complex case? So Calabiao trivial. So the, the canonical bundle M6 is trivial. Um, but not necessary okay okay so now let's see which type of uh, accomplished geometry we have so we formulate the equation for the hull services we will essentially uh, free equation but before to write the, the free equation, let's see what we have. So we will have M, as I say, compact three-dimensional compass manifold with the property that the canonical bundle is holomorphically trivial. So that means that we will have a nowhere vanishing holomorphic. P04. Okay, let's call uh, P this uh, 304 form. It will be also later. And then another object that we saw is um, uh, the, the gout, the complex gout bundle. So a complex vector bundle, we call E over M with. An Elmitian metric let's call H big this uh, this metric um, with the, the property so along the fiber okay and uh, before to see the property so the equation just take alpha prime real number constant. This is also called the slow parameter. Okay. Um, then the system, the whole sum the system uh, for so it will be for for the metric omega. Compatible with the complex structure, and, and we will uh, there will be some equation involving, especially the third one will be will involve both the the metric on M, and also the the metric on on the bar key. So the first equation is just involving the curvature of. So let's note we phase change the curvature for the shear. Connection of each, so he, this will will be viewed as a form. In fact, it will be a one-one form with value in and the morphism of E, 
that makes sense to, to compute the trace of a FH, which FH that we will compute later. Anyway, here the condition is that this one, one form, so two zero, the two zero part, the zero two part is vanishing. And also, not only that, it will be the what is called the Hermitian yeah, I mean, condition. That means that we will have that if we do the, the wedge of HA, wedge omega, wedge omega, this is zero. Okay, we, I will go back uh, to this equation later because it's, uh, it's meaning in terms of uh, the, the holomorphic band T in terms of the stability. Um, the second equation is the one related to the balance condition, because what we will ask that not omega itself is balance, but if we do a conformal change, then we, we get a balance match. And the condition is that the differential of this multiple of omega square, omega square times the function given by the norm of uh, the free zero form with respect to the metric, the, the differential of that form is zero. And that's exactly the condition to be conformally balanced. And then we, we go to the third equation, that's the more interesting and more difficult to, to solve. And that is given, is involving both omega and the, the metric on the holomorphic bundle. And this this equation, E D D bar omega. So it's involving the differential of the, the free form in each equal to alpha prime over four. And then we have the part about the trace. So here we, we have a choice of uh, Nabla. Nabla will be a unitary connection, particular metric connection. On M. And the condition is that the trace of curvature and Nabla, which are Nabla. So again, we are thinking Nabla is a two four with value in endomorphy of T10 in this case. T10 fan. And then minus the trice of again the curvature. Chair connection of each. That's our the, the equation. And uh, you can see from immediately from, from the equation that's uh, the first remark that this is a, a generalization. Of which flat say metric on non killer Calabiao manifold couple plus, let's say, the Hermitian Yamin condition. That's what we are doing. And the third the equation is, as I say, is a more difficult, is also called the Bianchi. The Bianchi um, Just a few remarks about the, 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 the first equation. Um, the first equation uh, is essentially by Donaldson, Hulen, uh, yeah, this is in the Keller case. So when one has Keller manifold, and then one has uh, aeromorphic bundle at degree zero, and this is also reducible. Um, this is stable in the sense of geometric invariant theory, if and only if essentially the young, the medium young mid condition is satisfied. 
Okay, here is abilities in terms of the slope, which is defined in terms of the degree. Um, so in particular, when uh, the, the holomorphic bundle is C10, then the degree is zero. Um, we will apply that, that uh, condition, not in the Keller or on the Keller manifold, but the, there is an extension uh, from Keller to Duchamp. Of course, so this condition is with respect to the Keller metric is defined because the degree depends, uh, is defined in terms of the Keller metric. And there is an extension for the Duchamp metric. That's uh, is due, I think, was done by Li, Li and Yao. And the, since degree zero, so in particular balance, that means with the Duchamp metric means the d bar omega n minus two is zero. So in particular balance is good shown. And if the degree is zero, uh, the condition, the, the Hermitian Yamil condition is invariant is invariant by conformal change. Okay. So this makes sense also for, for conformally um, balance. Um, okay, we will use later a version of that on Keller, let's say, or before. But uh, we can use uh, again this uh, equivalence because, in fact, we will use Keller or before with uh, uh, my singularity, okay, with this isolated cyclic. Singularity, okay, and that's uh, the 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 theorem by Donaldson, Hulen, and Yao is still is still holds because if you remove the singularity, then you can apply condition by Simpson, and then you, you have still still the condition. Um, so let's say that the link, as I say. Within uh, so we, we will have in particular conformally balanced, globally conformally balanced. So it's like to work with the balance case. I, I want just to remark about the second equation that originally this for was formulated in a different way, like this star omega equal to i d bar minus tel log of the norm of omega and was Li and Yao that formulated in the nicer way, like uh, the conformally balanced condition. Um, so the idea we want to find the canonical metric or let's say balance manifolds that want you to do. Um, okay, as I say, uh, we have a choice. I mean, since omega is non killer of course, we have a choice of NAMBLA, possible uh, emission connection NAMBLA. In fact, we have a family, one parameter family. of Fermitian connection that we can choose. And the construction that I will present in now will be the case when NABLA is uh, the chain connection. But of course, one has a family and this family include not only the chain connection, but also the business connection for it. I will use the, we use this uh, churn connection. Um, also for from physics point of view, um, alpha prime, the constant alpha prime will be positive, but um, of course the, the alpha prime zero correspond exactly to the killer case. But also alpha prime uh, negative, let's say, as some mathematical, not physics, but mathematical meaning. Uh, 
And that uh, was considered by Fuong, Picard, and Zhang. Okay. Um, I want to just so, and then we go to the to the construction, at least to the review a little bit of the Fuyao construction, how we generalize that construction. Um, from physics point of view, uh, in fact, you don't solve all the equation. If you want to solve all the equation, that's what we see to Ivanov, uh, Nabla has to be an instant of. If you want to solve all, all the equation, including the, the mm, let's say, the, the theoretic equation of motion. Um, so let's go to the, to the example. And the first non killer solution to the hull strumming system. Uh, is exactly due to is uh, what I call now the Fuyao solutions. And these are constructed on torus vibrations over k surface. And essentially, what what uh, for for the torus vibration and sanction tool is the the construction by Wilson and Prokushin. Okay, we generalize the user Kalabi Ekman construction and we'll see later how, how we will uh, modify that essentially considering set of k-free surfaces k-free arbifolds so this part uh, is again using just chern line uh, theory that is sent in this case um there are also in the literature are, uh, other more more construction by my many people for instance mario Garcia fernandez and, and many other but i don't want to, to to talk about that so let's go immediately to the construction by goldson and Prushke. so i will review a little bit what, what is going on and then we'll see the, the fuyao equation and now how we can generalize that to, to get essentially new example, in particular, new simply connected example. So let's see the Goldstein Rapprochement construction, a little bit more in detail. So let's start with case okay, free service. So let's take S. And let's note with small omega s, the, the killer beach flat metric. Okay, so the, the way how to construct the, the torus vibration is essentially to consider one consider any pair that's called omega one, omega two uh, of anti-seduel one one forms. And the, the things that we want here are on S of course, such that we want that up to a factor one over two pi, the class of omega i define an integer class. So two and zeta, they define. Uh, uh, this is S, so of course we are working on the k reserves. Okay, um, then uh, the, the construction come out that you, to end of that, you can also say, one can also say a vibration, okay, a toric vibration, um, let's call pi from M to S. And essentially, one has that uh, one use theta i 
connection one forms such that the theta i is just a pullback of omega i. So the 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 the, the let's say the, the vertical part is one zero vertical part is just given by theta one plus i theta two, and this makes this y holomorphic. Okay. And uh, so in a natural way, one has uh, free zero form in natural free zero form on M on the total space on the vibration, let's call it big omega as before. And this is just theta, which is the, the one, the vertical one zero four, which a pullback of this is omega S, which is holomorphic. 204 on the K free surfaces. Yes. Okay. Um, then the, the, the nice thing here that you don't have an, not only a complex manifold, but you have in a natural way a balanced metric. You just take it's called omega zero. Um, so the, the, the vertical part will be I theta, which theta bar, or in the other word, theta one, which theta two. And then you just do the pullback of the clarity form on the base, on the K3 surfaces. And this is balance. It's a natural balance metric. Um, so the tricky by, by showing Yao, so let's see a little bit. I, I won't get the 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 for you in a very easy way, so it's much more complicated. Um, so for you use essentially uh, the following of SACS. and the SACS is the follow. So the 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 vertical part you don't change in here. You you introduce the function and scalar function. So let's consider this function. U you will be a scalar function. On the case surfaces, K free surfaces. And then you consider omega u, as I say, you just consider the pullback of uh, omega s times the exponential of u plus i theta h theta bar. Um, and of course, you in the scalar function on the K free surfaces. Um, so what, what they did, and that's uh, the, the essentially is, is essentially a, compu a computation, not easy computation, but anyway, they reduce essentially the third equation uh, to a two-dimensional complex motion pair equation involved in the scalar function. And the equation is the following, P bar, and then we will have exponential u minus f a exponential of minus u, which omega in a moment I will say what is f is f is a positive function, non-negative function, and it's a known function on S on the K free surfaces. And then we will have plus alpha prime, the constant of the third equation, and then e dd bar u wedge e dd bar u plus some again u will be a two two form with average zero so the integral of mu over s will be zero that's the condition and of course this is not enough because if we want the the the, the, the we want to obtain a matrix so we have some positivity and the, the lytic condition that comes from the positivity is that uh, essentially exponential u plus f exponential of minus u omega plus four alpha prime and then e to the bar u is positive. That's that condition. And of course, one uh, the, the difficult part here is then 
that what Fuen Yao did is to, to solve uh, the, the equation. Um, we'll see later that uh, this idea, I mean, we will use a similar ensemble and we will uh, reduce again the, the, com the computation are similar and we will reduce again the equation, essentially the third equation in equation involving this time basics, uh, basic function and basic form. Because in fact, what uh, an important remark for the construction is that uh, the, the way how Fuyao uh, solved the equation depends only on the, the fact that the manifold is, uh, let's say, uh, as a transverse Calabi-Yau structure. So it's um, depending on the fact that the, the manifold is forgated, essentially. Um, before to go, on to the construction, since the, the seminar is about flow, let's say, I, I want just to link a little, this uh, um, Fuyao solution and also the, the solution of our storing system with the with flow, what is called the anomaly flow. Um, I want just to say that the solution to the hull stronger system uh, can be viewed as stationary point of, uh, a, let's say, flow or two, two forms. You have to think that you are considering omega square instead of omega. And this is called the anomaly flow. Okay. Um, essentially, what you do in this flow is uh, you essentially evolve both omega and both um, f, let's say. And you have this couple of equation. The first equation is just the derivative with respect to t, and then we so omega b is fixed. You change omega t, so the norm of omega with respect to omega t, omega t squared in sense of the wedge. This is equal to i b bar omega t plus alpha prime. This is essentially the third equation for is of RT, wedge RT, this is just the curvature on nabla. T, let's say, and FT, wedge FT, which is the curvature of the chain connection on, on the bump, on the holomorphic bump. And then you have the second one, which is also called the Donaldson heat equation. And essentially, so here you change the metric, AT, and that's is this one, the inverse of a t and then derivative of a t is equal to, and then this function, which is essentially the comparison of the volume induced by omega t and omega t square wedge f t. And then of course you, you have the, the, the initial condition. Okay. Um, the important thing here that if it is conformally balanced, then the, the flow is preserving the, the conformally balanced condition. And this, this is due to form uh, Picard. Okay. Um, and the nice thing here that the, the comma case, they show short time existence and unicity. And the, the limit for, for t goes to infinity, give a solution for, for the whole strong system. In particular, they, they found, let's say, a, a new proof of the solution by Fu and Yao. Um, so let's go to the construction that I want to give. Uh, and first, let's give the main, main result. This is, let's say, general. And then we will apply this result in a special case, giving the new example. So the theorem main result, this is the result with the answer of 
And let Sony, I will give an idea, sketch of the proof. So let's say we pass compact Calabia or before. So I mean that the, the canonical bundle is uh, trivial with a rich flat scalar metric. Okay, that we will denote omega s, small omega s, like before. And um, let's denote we e s the or before earlier number. Okay, in the equation by Fu and Yao, this number was essentially 224. Here we will essentially explicit that in general. Um, so let's take. So first, we need two omega one and omega two anti cell dual one one forms on, uh, on S, uh, such that again, I up to a factor one over uh, two pi, the, the class determined by omega and pi are or before integer class. Okay, um, and the total space. So even in this case, you can extend the chern wide theorem, and then you will talk about the total space of a T2 this time, um, let's say principal T2 or before. Uh, on S, yes. And I have a question. So you, you said H two or before with coefficient in Z. Can you remind us what what that means precisely? Uh, it means that you have. Uh, I mean, you have uh, instead of, you you are looking for this is are defined like the in the in the smooth case like integer. So you're looking the non, let's say that the the or the, the cohomology like in the orbifold in, in the orbifold case. So you can extend everything. I don't know. I, 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 maybe I didn't catch well the question. Uh, well, when you say um, total space of T two orbifold principal bundle, is that where you use uh, H two R condition? No, because we need that for the churn vine, for extending the churn vine, um, the churn vine. So we need to, as in the churn vine theory, we need the integer classes to, to have the, the one form connection for which uh, the differential of that is the pullback. So, so, so for that, you, you need. Yeah, that, that's my question. I usually, this works with coefficients in Q, actually. So I wonder if you really need Z here. Ah, oh. oh, that's. Maybe Gail can answer better than me. <laughs> that is, uh, I think it's. A, uh, it sorry, Vesti, could you repeat? Because yeah, I didn't get the question at the end. No, well, if uh, if, if the, for the Chernobyl theory, you we need this. We need the really um, integer classes, or is enough rational classes? Actually, rational in the standard case. Yeah. But with specific coefficients, rational but with specific coefficients. We need some restriction, right? In the yeah, coefficient yeah. in that case. Yeah. In general, we need uh, well divisors. This is all um, theory developed by well enough by Janusz Kolar. Yeah. With yeah. Um, all of this specific orbifold, including the the cohomology and uh, the fundamental groups and everything precisely to fit um, the same uh, structure and um, Sasaki theory, which Boyer and Galitsky have de defined. So basically, this is what we need again. It's for yeah, probably instruction. All but the idea is we need the astronomical really numbers really. in the standard case, yes. So, so the main difference is in the orbifold uh, Euler characteristic, actually. Yeah. And this yeah. total space, you don't suppose it is uh, smooth. It's, it's orbifold uh, to the total space of the T2 bundle. 
the whole yeah that's the point initially it's all fault of yeah but uh yeah. what the young scholar did is precisely uh nice conditions when it actually is smooth in the standards excuse me i'm i'm luigi vezzoni the, the total space is smooth in our case. at the end the total space is both yes but the yeah, forms yeah. no no but we were talking about the cohomology on the base which is our before so it's not smooth yeah the, the 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 things that what we will need is the rational divisor which are independent and and I, I i mean we will we'll see later how we apply that but anyway the first step is to have the, the first one the safer as one bundle is smooth that's an important because the second one will be just a, a principal as one bundle so uh, but the, the the fact that it's smooth is related to as Keo was saying to the color color. Term. Yeah, I understand. So it's H two Q, but with additional condition to ensure this. Exactly, 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 exactly. So one can take H two Q, of course, but then you have additional condition because it's, it's not enough. I hope that. Okay. Um, so we, 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 we ask, let's say, we assume an extra condition, as Luigi was mentioned, that the total space So the total space of uh, that determined by by them is more. That's important, an important thing. Um, then let's say W, stable, a vector bundle, holomorphic window bundle. Of degree zero, um, with respect to omega s. That's not the easy, easy thinking fact then to, to have that in the case so that we don't have a KFE um surfaces but pk3 or before we say a little bit about that um such that and now is exactly the the the, the equation that is similar to the to the fuyao equation but we explicit the Euler number so it's alpha prime or before Euler number of s minus this second term plus number C2 W minus one over two C1 square S equal to one over four pi square integral over S of the sum of the non square. So norm omega one square with respect to omega S plus the norm omega two square with respect to omega S and then the volume omega s squared over two. Okay. Uh, then if we have that, like in uh, for Fuya Yao, one consider the essentially the, the, the pullback. So you, you have M as a medium structure. Omega U. So Omega U will be constructed in a similar way with the same ansatz we'll see later, like in the case of Fu Yao and uh, Hermitian metric. Let's call H, small h, along the fibers of W, such that, and here is again the pullback, like in the Fu Yao. So, E, the, 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 the bundle of the six manifold, it just pull back W, the stability is preserved, the metric H, big H is a pullback of H, and omega U is a exactly our um, metric on, on, on M. This sort of, they are some of the system. 
So let's see sketch of the proof and then let's apply. Let's apply. How, how many minutes I have, Jeff? Um, uh, it's it's sort of up to you. Um, we typically go. Okay, um, okay. Like if you are, uh, half, if yeah. everyone is tired, just go. <laughs> Can go away. I will. I will give a sketch of the proof, and then now I will get the example. So don't worry if you have to. Go. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So let's. So the, the first part is similar to the, the Fourier condition. So let's say theta i, the connection one forms such that uh, the, the theta i is essentially the, the pullback of over time. Okay. Um, remember that by hypothesis, the, the uh, we are sorry to check, to change the page, but I think I prefer that. I prepare the phone. I have to do that. But you, okay. You will. You will come, I hope. Okay. Um, so. We will have the, the smooth. T2, let's say, bundle is moved by assumption, as, as we say, I m over S, the, the K free or before, determined by omega I. Um, this has a complex structure, as uh, similar as described before, and theta, theta one plus I theta two is a one zero four with respect to this complex structure, and um, and pi become holomorphic. Okay, um, so again we will have a balance. This is similar. So theta which theta bar. This is balance. And then we will use essentially um, if the only if, okay, uh, this is exactly the condition that the trace with respect to the omega s of omega one is zero, like the trace the two with respect to omega s of so the scalar product is zero. That's exactly the, the, the balance condition. Um, let's denote by omega s the two zero form. Less. Um, so we, we can construct uh, in a natural way the free zero form. This is just given by omega s wedge theta. Okay. And this is uh, becomes holomorphic with constant norm with respect to omega. That's, that's not the problem. So we use the same ansatz. So we consider omega u, like we just modify the, the pullback of omega s plus theta one, which theta two. Then such is exactly the same. And this is conformally, becomes conformally balanced with conformal factor given by the norm of omega with respect to omega. So this is this equation is satisfied. Um, now let's take W stable bundle. This was a part also the hypothesis of the main theory on S with respect to omega S uh, of degree zero. And let's suppose that the young mill um, emission young mill. The equation is satisfied. Okay, so we can take the pullback. Uh, 
until now we see, you know, this is stable. Quando? Or degree zero. On M. Okay. Um, and the stable with respect to the omega U. Omega U. Um, and then for the metric, we just say the pull back. For the metric and for the curvature, this is the back of the curvature. Okay, now exactly comes the foliated part. Let's say we use the, the full, yeah, you know, let's say um, argument depend only on the foliation, on the foliated. Structure on M uh, in this way. So for, for that, we will see that in fact M has a transverse Calabria structure. Okay. And to do that, we need to define basic form, right? That defines such transverse Calabria structure. And that's exactly what we did. So an important thing, so let's consider, uh, first thing, how is defined the foliation? So let's say theta, our one zero form, and let's say zeta, the dual metric of theta. And this gives the real part to zeta and the imaginary part to zeta define foliation. On M. And uh, so we will have this form essentially. So we'll have theta, okay? And uh, the first, uh, let's consider the first basic form, two, two, two form, one form, which is basically just a pullback of omega s. And then we will have a, a, the, the, the pullback of the two zero form, which is let's call omega b, which is a pullback of the two zero form on S on the order form. And this satisfy the following condition. In particular, they satisfy that omega B is close, the omega B zero. Uh, if we do omega B wedge D theta, this is also zero. And the important thing is if we consider D theta and we do the contraction by zeta bar, this is zero. And also, if we do the contraction by zeta of omega b, omega b is z. Okay, and that's exactly the, the the things that give you that this basic form, together with this basic form, give Calabria induce a Calabria transverse Calabria structure. Um, so the idea is uh, we, now we did similar, let's say, computation that we all did to, to transform the third equation, okay, in um, an equation that will be not will be an equation this time involving basic function essentially, basic function u, and so what we reduce we reduce. The whole strong year system to a, is not anymore, let's say, um, a lytic equation, but this is transverse lytic equation. So it's uh, a lytic along the duration orthogonal to the to the orbit and the action of the group. Um, so um, what we get essentially is uh, generalization of the Yao theorem to a medium free force with a transverse Calabi Yao structure. And for solving this equation, we use again the continuity method. And the, 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 the closure part is similar, let's say, to the free Yao. And for the openness part, we use a result by Ekachimi. 
uh, Kachimi Rizal. Um, now I want just to, to, to see, okay, this is a, a general result, uh, doesn't give yet a concrete example. Um, if we want to, to, to consider a concrete example, uh, that's, uh, let's say, the, the, the last part of the, the talk. Um, we will consider a specific, so for explicit For explicit example, that's uh, what we were trying to say before. Um, we were constructing this way. I mean, of course, we need this C2 bundle, right? We need, okay, we need uh, some more before, nice. Let's say we will have uh, isolated cyclic um, singularity because we need to construct this uh, smooth T2 bundle over there. And this smooth T2 bundle over there, we will construct essentially considering two rational divisors which are independent in the case of uh, the let's say the, the the simple kinetic case if we want to only something like five plus one then we consider only one and so uh, what we do essentially the t2 bundle will be constructed in this way so we start with s let's say and first, we will construct a safer S1 bundle, which is smooth. So already the first one, we need to be smooth. And then we will construct, we will consider here over M1, which is smooth, a principal S1 bundle, let's say M. Is a regular principal as well bundle. Um, so the first thing uh, I will maybe just give an idea how how we construct that. I will not uh, not, not be technical about the the the, the, the safer as one bundle, whatever. An important thing for for us uh, safer as one bundle, let's say by as Gail point, point out, is a theory by color. Essentially, these are that's similar what happened for for the case. Um, you can associate to your safer S1 bundle what is called the the, the fortune class of that, right? And everything is determined by uh, the pair. Let's say by divisor plus um, let's say some integer. So not only by by divisor. Uh, but also some integer, um, which are less uh, relative prime with the multiplicity associated to the to, to let's say to to s s one bundle. Essentially, um, s one bundle can can be viewed as a reduction. In fact, one can define what is called C star um, safer bundle. And, and then one can see C star like S1 cross R. So everything can be defined in terms of C star. So the, the fiber essentially is uh, something like uh, um, can, can correspond to the action of C star, let's say, over um, the, the, the unit. The, the, the group of unit, uh, M group of unit, and this M is essentially the, 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 the multiplicity uh, of that. But I, I want to see, uh, the, I want just to say how concrete, we, uh, uh, in the concrete way, how, how we construct the example. So we will consider a specific uh, Calabria or before. And uh, we will consider this, um, this, the intersection of uh, two degree um, uh, hypersurfaces, say, of degree six in the um, weighty projective space, which is two 
two, two, and then three, three. This way at the space. Um, this is one on, is one of the leads in Yano, Fletcher. This we 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 pick up one. I think that this the simple one. Um, codimension two of uh, K three R before. Um, this has nine isolated um, cyclic. Um, Singularity, in fact, the singularity are type, let's say, uh, one, uh, zeta two. Okay. Um, so that's um, the important thing here. For in fact, all all the Calabiao um, or before uh, K three or before considered by Jan and Fletcher have uh, uh, this the property that we use quite a lot that they are before. Fundamental, it all is trivial. That's an important part. Uh, plus the fact that we have an ample uh, rational device. That's an also an important ingredient that 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 we have. Um, so the, that's then the way how we how we construct. The, 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 let's say the, 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 the one rational bundle when we have only, when the manifold is not simply connected or in the other case, when it's simply connected, when we need two rational bundles, it's always blowing up the singular, the singular point. So the theorem, maybe I'll write the theorem, now the, the other main theorem of the paper, if K is between 13, and 22, uh, that depends on the second Betty number, let's say, and R is 14, 22. Uh, then uh, the, the, this move manifold given by S1 times the connected sum, okay, copy of S2 cos S3, and the other, which is the connected sum of R copy of S2 times four connected sum R plus one copy of S3 cos S3 as complex structure with trivial canonical bundle. And uh, they have a balance metric and the solution of Hall Strominger system. Um, okay, for for the extreme case k equal to twenty two r equal to twenty two, uh, these are just the, the Fourier essentially solution. Um, here, okay, one we, we construct that as I say uh, by partial resolution, so by blow up. The, the blow up are essential to construct for construct the rational divisor. Um, but an important thing here that um, we, we can identify the, the, the manifold that are going on essentially because the, the important things that the commodity of the, of the manifold uh, are without torsion. That's, that's really an important thing. Um, maybe I, I, I just finish to say a few words because that was not so trivial at the end. Uh, why? Because one of the Ingredient to apply the main theorem that I present before is to have the stable bundle over S. Okay. Um, in the case of Fu Yao, essentially the Mukai theory uh, for K free surface, a usual K free surface, uh, give a condition for which you have the stability of, uh, let's say, um, of uh, an amorphic bundle with C2 that you need, let's say big enough. Um, for, for our case, that seems to be more, more complicated. We, we don't have this analogous theory, but what, what we apply is essentially the SER we apply. The SER construction. Um, this set construction is, is essentially 
relate. Here I am speaking very roughly, which relates around to, let's say, retromandus on a surface to subscheme. So, so isolated point, essentially, subschemes of codimension two. Okay, so that means isolated point in sense. And we use essentially, we adapt in our case the hybrid plan theory that was used for, for the K3 case, but we use for, for our situation. Um, essentially, first we, we construct a holomorphic bundle and then we control later using some uh, sub scheme uh, of so isolated point and the, the important thing here that the points are um, are different from the singular point we can take that and then we 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 essentially construct a new holomorphic bundle which is stable and there's a the the the, the, the the, the C2, because the, the equation is involving C2, we, we want, want this case, right? Alpha prime bigger than equal to zero. So this gives a restriction involving the, the C2 of, um, of the homomorphic A. Okay, I think I am finished here. I hope that this part was not too chaotic. Anyway, try to give an idea what was going on. Thank you very much for, uh, for the attention. Thanks. Thanks, Anna. Are there any other questions? I was curious a little bit about the, the scalar reduction. I mean, I wonder, can you say maybe a little bit more about um, what exactly the scalar PD is that you saw? Oh, yes, yes. I can, I can, I can explain a little bit more. Let's see. Um, so I, 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 I will Maybe we'll write some, something more about that. Um, so the, the function, okay, I, I just take the equation again. Let's see now. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, um, we, essentially what, what we use in the middle, let's say, maybe I formulate the, the the theorem that we use uh, that we apply in our case, uh, maybe it's a good idea. Anyway, that's an important important equation. We 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 reformulate the third equation of hal summing a system in, in this uh, in this equation. So we just integrate. So we we have uh, we consider. Let's see this this one. Um, so. Um, Maybe the, the, the right way here is um, an important lemma, let's say, is um, um, that, that we use. So I don't know exactly what Jeff want, what, what you want to see. What, what, you want to see the, the, the final equation or how we reduce the, to the equation? And what is exactly? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, just what, what is the scalar parameter like you're solving for? Um, ah, okay, then um, we, let's see, the, the equation maybe that we reduce is, uh, we, can re, we can write in this way. So we, we would have something like that, right? E, D, D bar, A, U, wedge, omega B. So we will work on basic four. Right, so this will be the first part minus this is similar to the Fouillard equation minus u rho, and then minus alpha prime over two d d bar u which d d bar u plus mu prime omega b squared equal to zero. Okay, this is a this is our equation, let's say, and u is a basic. Unknown function, let's say. Um, so here, rho and uh, let's say mu mu prime are given. Rho is just a given basic one form, let's say, and then we have 
the function, my theoretical new form and basic function, let's say. Um, so the first thing um, that we did, that's similar to the, to the FUYAO, is to compute the trace of R U H R U. Okay. And this will be, this is similar, is the equal to the trace of R B which R B plus two D D bar U which D D bar U plus two I D D bar A minus U rho. That's that's the same. And um, essentially what we need as for Fourier, we need this this con integral condition, integral over M, alpha prime, trace of R, which R, which omega minus alpha prime, trace of H, which FH, which omega minus the norm of D theta square omega cubed equal to zero. And that's give, again, that the integral of the, the average is zero, right? That's the first thing. So this is, this is quite similar. And um, essentially what, what we use is the following. This is similar to, to Fu and Yao, the same tricky, let's say. Take T between zero and one, not only Fu Yao, but also Fong, Picard, Sang. So let's say T between zero and one, and let's consider omega U T just in this way. So U omega B plus T and then alpha E minus U rho plus two alpha E D D bar U, okay? And, and then we, we put also T in the other equation this other, T D D bar, A U, which omega B, minus here you put T, alpha prime over two, I D D bar, and then again, A minus U rho, minus alpha prime over two, D D bar U, which D D bar, U plus again we put T here, mu prime omega B square over two equal to zero. And then we, we work in a similar way like, like they did, but they just we just consider basic, uh, let's say the space of all the function which are basic and and whatever. And then we 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 consider I say an operator which is similar to the to the one that they consider, and we want to show that it's essentially an isomorphism, right? And so the openness and the closure condition. So the closure is similar. I mean, it's we we, we adapt. Maybe Luigi can say more something more for the analysis point of view. But anyway, for um, for for the closure, it, it's not changing much. Let's say it's, uh, the C zero, the C two, the C three are are similar, and for the openness, I think the the the, the new part, I think for the openness. So when uh, so when we show uh, the injective condition, that's exactly where we use the the, the result by El Kachin. So for 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 surjective, you no, know, I think for for injective, uh, so the the fact that you you you, you get a transversal elytic operator. That's something that we need to check. And that's, I hope that I answer your question, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, and I guess like the, the PDE for mu, it's it's an ansatz. I mean, it's not really sort of like derived from the system, I guess. It's it's imposed upon the, I mean- you Yeah, like essentially what we did is to, to, to come out from the third equation, right? That you have from Hartz-Rominger, and then you get, some integral equation, and that is at your starting point for your ansatz, and then give you your, your, your condition. I hope that I, I answer. 
Maybe yeah, you can sure. Thank you. Yeah. Luigi can add something. I don't know. <laughs> But that's a distraction. Yes, but uh, I mean, I think uh, you already said a lot about, I mean, you, you, you did a really complete exposition about the question, I think. Yeah, the, the, I mean, the, the, the sexual things here that uh, uh, we use basic, basic form instead of uh, basic function. Right, but the, the question is quite similar to the one that you mm -hmm. you, you get. The, the only difference is by define. So of course you you need to be careful when the, the more delicate part I think is not is the injective part I think. As far as that's the more delicate, but that's that's exactly the part that Kachibi essentially did. Is correct, mm -hmm. Luigi? I answer. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, I mean the, the, the key point is uh, when you have a, a basic function, you you, yeah, you have a, an equation or in our case is transversely elliptic. Yeah. Then I think locally, in some sense, it can be reduced to an elliptic equation. Maybe so, I mean, maybe I can write the the equation on the function that you have. Maybe that's more clear. Let's see. Yeah. I mean, I think I can understand it through this form equation. No, right? that's an easy equation, of course, that you can write in terms of the Laplacian, right? The complex Laplacian with respect to, so the, the equation that they write using the wedge at omega, you, you can write in totally in terms of the Laplacian. So the, the complex one jump pair is Laplacian of the exponential of minus u plus whatever. That's that's another way. So that's the equation, the, the, the complex equation. Maybe I write in uh, in terms of two two form, but you can write in in terms of function. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so we use what to use instead of uh, we we use uh, the, the the let's say the transfer Laplacian, right? That's that's essentially what you use in, 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 instead of the user complex Laplacian. Sure. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Are there other questions? Um, okay, if not, let's let's thank Anna again for the nice talk. So. Okay, thank you very much. I hope it was clear. With the iPad, is always <laughs> it's sure, always sure. No, the it's best. Good. <laughs> I thought that with the iPad was simple to follow with the slides one one is. <laughs>